In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use Easy Collage Sheet templates in Photoshop. Step one, make a copy of your template. And I highly recommend always doing this every time you make a new collage sheet so you can retain the original as a master copy. To make a copy of the template file, open the folder it's saved in, which I've already done. Right click on the file and click copy. Now right click on an open area in the same folder or in another folder if you choose and click paste. You will now have a duplicate copy of the master template to make a new collage sheet. To rename the duplicate file, right click on the file then click rename. You always have the option to do this later on as well. But I prefer to do it right away so it's already renamed and there's no confusion between the copy and the master copy. And just click again on the open area and that's all set. Step two, I'm going to open Photoshop. I'm going to close this out. I've already opened up Photoshop. So now we can left click on file and then open to open up the copy that we just made from the folder. We saved it on the computer. Step three, after opening your collage sheet copy template, you can left click on view. and fit to screen and that'll give you better viewing of the template. Step 4, left click on file and open and we're going to open up an image to place inside our collage sheet template. Step 5, place your cursor on the title bar of your opened image left click and hold then move your mouse to move the open image over a bit for better viewing of the template if needed. Step 6, left click on the title bar of the collage sheet template then left click on the move tool and that's in the tools palette. Now left click on the solid background layer in the layers palette to select that layer Step 7, place your cursor on the image, left click and hold to select the image, then move your mouse to drag the image over into your collage sheet template file. And now you're going to release and drop the image in. The image will automatically be copied and should now be under the template overlay layer and it will be on its own layer in the layers palette, automatically named layer 1. On step 8, left click on the image inside the template overlay layer and hold. Still using the move tool and move the image over in either direction so that you can see a corner box of the selected image inside one of the open windows of the template overlay layer and then release. More or less moving may be needed depending on the size of the image you choose. If more moving is needed, just move the image a bit at a time, left clicking and holding, then releasing each time until you see the corner box. In step 9, placing your cursor on the corner box, you should see a symbol, double headed arrows. Now while left clicking the mouse and pressing and holding down the shift key and the mouse at the same time, you can drag the corner box to resize your image. If it needs to be smaller, drag inward. If bigger, then outward. Now sometimes you may need to do this a few times. So you can always left click on the image again and hold and then drag the image up and then release. and then just repeat the resizing.
by left clicking and holding on the corner box and holding down the shift key on your keyboard at the same time until you get it to the size that you need. Okay, that looks about good for me. Step 10, we're going to left click on the move tool. A pop-up window will appear asking if you want to apply the transformation, left click apply. On step 11, once you have your image resized and moved into position under one of the open windows of the template overlay layer, you may need to do some trimming of your image that may be showing in other open windows under the template overlay layer. If this is so, then you can left click on the marquee tool. You will see this symbol that looks like a plus sign for your cursor. You can choose either a circle or a rectangle shape for the marquee tool by right clicking on the tool in the tools palette. And a little mini window appears and you can left click on the one that you want to use. We'll use the rectangular marquee tool for this. Step 12, with the cursor slightly on the outside corner of the open window of the template overlay layer, while still working in the image layer, layer 1, you see right here it'll be highlighted. That's the one you're working on. You want to left click your mouse and hold and then drag the marquee tool until you have a selection slightly larger than the open window of the template overlay layer. Okay, release. Now left click on select and inverse. This will now select everything on the outside of the marquee selection. Step 14. Left click, edit. and clear. This will clear everything in your image layer, layer 1, that was on the inverse selected area. So now your image is trimmed. Now left click once anywhere on the inverse selected area to release the marquee selection from the image. Step 15, left click on the move tool. Now if you would like to fill the entire template with the same image, you can right click on the image layer. layer 1 in the layers palette, left click on duplicate layer and click OK. Step 16, the new duplicate image will now be above the original image layer which can be seen in the layers palette. Using the move tool you can left click and hold on the image and at the same time you can also press and hold down the shift key on your keyboard and then drag the new image either across or down into a new open window and adjusting as needed to center. And holding down the shift key, this will allow you to keep the image in line with the previous image. As you can see you can't move it left to right but we can move it up and down. So we'll have a much more centered image. release. Now repeat steps 15 and 16 if you want to fill the entire collage sheet template with the same image. If you want to add a new image, you can repeat steps 4 through 14 until the entire template is filled. Now in the interest of time, we're just going to do the two that we have here. Now step 17, if you want to change the text, left click on the type tool. Place the cursor in front of the text you want to change. We're just going to change the title info on this. Now left click and hold and then drag the cursor over the text you want to change. It'll highlight it for you. Release. Now you can type your own text.
Now left click on the move tool when you're finished and before changing another text layer. So we can repeat that by clicking on the text tool again and we can change our copyright info text. Place it in front of the text that we want to change. And drag it across while holding down to highlight it and then type in our new text. And then you may left click on the move tool again to set it. Step 18. After you have filled all the windows and changed your text info, you will need to save your finished work. So left click on file and save as. Then you can choose where you want to save your new collage sheet on your computer and rename your file if you didn't already do so in the very beginning. So we already did that, so we'll just click save. And yes, we do want to save it. And we do want to save it at maximum compatibility. Step 19. If you're planning on using your newly made collage sheet as a digital file for sale, then you will need to also save it as a copy in JPEG file format to flatten it so there are no layers in the file that will be sent to your customers. To do this, left click file again, left click save as again, then left click on the drop down menu under format it says Photoshop and you can left click on JPEG to choose JPEG file format and you'll see it's now changed it to a copy as a JPEG file format. Click Save. A pop-up window will appear. Left click on the toggle and hold and then you can drag it left to right. We want to drag it all the way to the right. We want to save it at maximum quality and left click on OK. And that's all there is to it. You now have a newly made collage sheet.